What's up guys? Got another awesome video here for you guys. So this is all touching on the basis of experience, my experience and, and business. So what I want to talk about in this video today is, you know what gets to me about influences is... So yeah, that was a pretty strong start, but what gets to me about them, um, well, people that seem to think they qualify as influencers is the fact that they think they own you basically as a business and brand. So if you are just starting out, just realize that you are going to be, that you're going to basically feel that way. And it's just something you, you got to deal with. Remember, if you're very small compared to them, that there is, they've got the upper foot, if you understand what I mean. So you kind of have to just stay with them and follow them or do what they say. But if you've got the upper hand, you can tell them what to do. So it's, it's this playoff eventually you will maybe get there, but just understand that where we started with collaborations and influences, it was very difficult because of, I guess, my personality and um, trying to deal with these types of people. A lot of them were very, very kind and generous and very, very caring and, and actually enjoyed business and, and loved what the business had to offer. But they, um, I, sometimes, I sometimes felt like they, they just went too far, you know, with the take, 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 take situation. And when I confronted the take take situation, it was just like, you know, here's a here's a finger for you. And it kind of made me learn over the last few years about influences and collaborations that it's not a bad thing to do for your business, but it's got to be choosy and you've got to pick the right ones and that you've got to also understand your timing with them. I think dealing with influences is a real big topic that I cannot personally tell you everything about because through my journey with them and collaborating with a lot of them, um, it's been tough. Um, but there's been a hell of a lot of them um, that we've kind of been using over the last few years Like we've literally just used the same ones because they're so great and they're such a lack of people to work with So you do get those ones now in the situation where they're also influencers and collaborators But they get categorized and labeled like the rest, but they're not actually they're such great people They're such kind people. They're willing to even do it sometimes for you for nothing um, whether, whether it comes to content and stuff like that or screaming out your brand or business. So there are some great ones inside this category of influencers and, and collaborators, but there are some terrible ones. And there's some people out there that I know for a fact, we've dealt with a few of them before, where their following on socials is completely bought. So it's a complete shit show. There isn't actually followers there, but they get products for nothing from a whole bunch of businesses. So they feel like they're these influencers, but their followers, there's, there's zero engagement. So the people that they're sending your, the, this, their content to have no um, engagement with them, that means that your business will never be seen. So you've got to be careful about that as well. Another thing that I cannot stand about them is like I mentioned, the ownership. Um, they feel like they own you as a business and that you have to do what they tell you. And yes, that can be true to a point because remember, like I said, if they are higher than you and you're trying to reach to them to get to their status and help them grow your status with, you've got to stoop down to understand this person, build rapport, and then do what they tell you in a certain way that doesn't demean you or your business, obviously, but you've got to work with them and basically work for them. And when you're above them, they'll become workers or influencers for you and your business, whereby you can tell them what you want and this is what you're willing to offer. When it's the other way around, they're going to tell you what they want and you just got to pipe it up if you can afford it. And if it's really an influencer that you want involved with the face of your business. So like from experience now that I'm dealing with, uh, we've got a big business that we're trying to, or not that we're trying to, we actually have nailed this whereby we're going to be collaborating in the new year. This business is quite massive in the space that my business is in. So the industry that we, that we are in. It's going to affect millions. So don't quote me on that number because I don't know how many it's going to touch. I just know that from his brand and business that we are now being collaborating with for the last few months, we're going to be launching products in collaboration with each other. That will be coming out in the new year, hopefully. Those products will be reaching millions because this business that we've did, we've grown great rapport with this guy, his business is touching nationwide and now has already broken overseas. So he's been doing overseas for quite a while now. And like I said, just by having that relationship with him has, is going to be enable us as a business and brand to shoot beyond you can like compare. You can't even imagine how that might change the business. Because for example, today I'm still rushing a nine to five, working this in, in the dark hours. <laughs> and then this could literally switch that entirely where I don't need a job anymore and that I am extremely successful with the business. And then there's many from a local sense that want the company's products plus overseas. Like things can change for you overnight. Like that's just how great one collaboration can be for you. 
if you are good with it and that you build great rapport and that you bring to the table from both sides, there's a connection and great working effort. You can definitely see massive change in, in a space of like 24 hours, maybe. So that's from my experience, what I'm dealing with now over the last few years and this new one that I've got going on. It's, it's going to be really big. And I just thought this guy, I also thought we're quite small, but two and a half years in, we're not necessarily small. The market kind of knows us and the products, and my business. But when it came to him, luckily I knew people in my network. So coming back to collaborations and the people that you choose, sometimes it's difficult to find someone on an online space. You might need to just touch base with your network, your community of people that are always doing things with you, such as events, markets, giveaways on social media, for example, like that, because you kind of know one another. Some you might have met already, some you might just know via WhatsApp, but it, you know one another and you guys can relate. So you can do something together to help each other. And no one is in this game to just run the race alone. Remember that we're all in this game and we're all in the same space. So we can't fight each other for this space. We've got to work together to make the space very lucrative. That's just been my motto in business for all of it. And with collaborators and other brands that are in the space, there are some out there in the space that are making almost exactly the same product as us, but we collaborate with them. Why? Because we know we're going to get both audiences interacting. And if we both jump in together, that means that we can both benefit from it instead of fighting each other, trying to get this measly little pile of money or sales. So collaboration and humility is something that I think is a great mention in this video. But remember, you can always call upon your network, like I said, to get people involved. Like I got this guy through a friend of mine um, that we've done a lot of business with in the past. So this guy was great friends with my friend and I didn't know that until he mentioned it. And now look at this. This could literally revolutionize my business and the brand, not just from a localized standpoint, but international. So when it comes to collaborators, you've got to understand that there's a fine line. Okay. I just, I just think I need to bring that point in. There's a fine line and a fine balance. You can't go beyond that because you're being too asky, but you also can't, you know, let them take too much also. So it's a difficult play, but just remember, you don't want to work with someone that isn't aligned with your business aligned with the mission and vision or doesn't believe in the brand and product because then it doesn't make sense to have that face associated with your business. You really want someone who's kind of aligned with the brand, who's sort of in the community, who talks a lot about this type of topic that will definitely root for you in times of bad and times of good. That's, that's kind of what I've built in my uh, business. There's a bunch of, a list of good people that are influencers that have collectively got about nearly 700,000 followers at this moment. And that's excluding my brand or my business's following. So, I mean, it's we're talking about a big group of people here. So it's great to have good people like that. And it's because I'm always in connection with it. There's another thing that you've got to bring to this uh, video is that you can't just work once with an influencer. It's actually a relationship. You've got to do this collaboration as a relationship with one another. You've got to be in one another's WhatsApps. You've got to be in each other's face. You've got to phone one another and say, how's it, how's it going? You know, it, it's not just, will you do this for me? Thank you. Here's your payment and good to know you. No, that's not how it works. If you want a long-term thing from someone like this, you've got to have a good relationship and build rapport. Why wouldn't you want to build rapport with someone? I mean, do you know what that can do for your business? If that person really likes you and gets along with you, they will refer you to people that they know. And I mean, not in just buy this guy's product basis. I'm talking about they will refer you to people that will actually want to do business with you because they see how well you do business with them. It's, a, it's something that you've got to really consider how you do when it comes to the collaborators and influencers in your business. How do you connect with them? You've got to be in their face all the time. We know what that saying is. Uh, what, I don't know what the full saying is, but it's, it's top of mind, something like that. Always staying top of mind. Because staying top of mind means that they'll always remember you and not only remember you, they'll call upon you because they know what you do, they understand the business and your product and they know it's great and they've used it and they'll refer you to other people. So always stay top of mind with these people and be good friends, uh, business partners or something like that. Uh, you, you don't have to go and get to know one another's wives, but definitely good, good partners or, or not partners, maybe acquaintances. So yes. This is going to be a shut off for the video. I just wanted to talk about my experience with collaborators. And if you've just started out with this type of stuff, uh, no, it's not going to be easy. I can definitely tell you that. And influencers, especially if you want some big guys, they're going to ask a lot of money and a lot of product. So definitely be aware of that. And don't think that you're going to be able to get a president to say yes to you unless you're his niece or nephew. So 
you gotta you gotta definitely weigh up what you're doing there. Like I said, to sum it up, be a great collaborator, offer the same or bring a good value to the table and they need to do the same. Connect with them and build a hell of a good rapport with them and make sure that no one is demeaning the other one. Make sure there's a good balance and there's a good vibe between you two. You don't want anything to hurt the business and you don't want to hurt their brand either. Hope this video helped. If you guys liked it, please subscribe and like this video. And leave a comment down below if you're dealing with a similar situation right now. I'd like to hear from you. Cheers.